pictures from the Itel A60 actually surprised me. Not the normal pictures, but the portraits. They actually look good. Hey guys, how is it going? And this is the Itel A60 4G. It's Itel's latest device. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the phone and reviewing every aspect of this device to find out if you should buy it. So, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Do subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right beside it. Okay, so let's jump right into the unboxing of this device. My name is Yudi, I talk about tech, let's shoot. This is the box of the ITEL A64 g Opening it up, we are first greeted with the phone. Next, we get a plastic case, it offers very little protection. The sides are not protected, but the back is protected from scratches though. Next, we get the SIM ejector tool, 10 watt charging brick, a micro USB cable, and a red wired earphones. That's all you get in the box if you buy the ITEL A60. It'll cost you 45,900 naira, roughly $65, which is really affordable. ITEL claims that this is the most affordable 4G smartphone and they might actually be telling the truth. The ITEL A60 has a nice design in my opinion. It has a stripe pattern on the rear but you barely feel it when you run your fingers through the phone. Both the frame and the rear is made from plastic and you won't get fingerprint smudges on the ITEL A60, only on the camera bump which is a glossy finish. Now speaking of the camera bump, it has two cameras, the flash and the fingerprint scanner. The ITEL branding is at the bottom of the phone. The phone is also boxy, the sides are not curved, and yeah, I do like the design of the ITEL A64 g Now let's take a look at the ports and buttons. On the right side we get the usual, the power button and the volume rockers. At the bottom we get the mono speaker grill, the micro USB port and the primary microphone. On the left side we get the dual SIM plus memory card slot. It's 4G connectivity, I mean it's literally on the name, the ITEL A64 g so that's an upgrade from its predecessor, the ITEL A58. Now at the top part of the ITEL A60, we get the headphone jack. Moving to the front of the phone, we see the 6.6 inch 720p LCD display with a teardrop notch that houses the selfie camera. The display refreshes at 60Hz, which is to be expected, it's an entry level device. Now the display is fine for indoor use, but outdoors under the sun, you would struggle to see what's on the screen. Reminder, please like the video so that YouTube recommend this video to more people and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Now let's talk about the cameras. It has dual rear cameras, 8 megapixel primary lens and a secondary AI depth sensor alongside with an LED flash. Now up front is a single 5 megapixel selfie camera. The main camera can shoot 1080p video while the selfie camera can only do 720p video. Now pictures from the ITEL A60 actually surprised me. Not the normal pictures but the portraits. They actually look good. If you showed me this picture and you told me that it was taken on a mid-range device, I would believe you. Portraits look good in my opinion. Normal pictures however are not so great, it's either underexposed or overexposed and they have a lot of noise, but it's an entry level device not much you can complain about. Now the selfie camera actually takes better videos which is surprising, take a look. Hey guys, so this is video from the rear camera, the main camera of the ITEL A64G, you're shooting in 1080p at 30fps, so let me know what you think of the video quality and the audio quality in the comment section below. Looks good. Hey guys, so this is the selfie video of the ITEL A64 g shooting in 720p resolution, which is the highest the ITEL A64 g can go. So let me know what you think of the video quality and the audio quality as well. I'm going to go outdoors to see how it performs under better lighting conditions. So yeah. Okay guys, now I'm outdoors. How does the video quality look like? I'm still shooting in 720p at 30 frames per second. So let me know what you think of the video quality and the audio quality in the comments below. It looks decent. 
for an entry level phone so yeah let me know what you think about the quality in the comments below the itel a60 is running android 12 on itel's android skin the quick setting shade looks very close to stock android by stock android i mean google pixel now we also get some bloatsway apps but you can uninstall them if you want to the itel a60 is powered by the unisoc sc9832e processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz and it has 2 gigabytes of ram while the internal storage is 32 gigabytes there is also room for an external memory card up to 128 gigabytes if i'm not mistaken this phone is not meant for gamers i think it's targeted towards people who want a really affordable phone that is also reliable so for running your daily tasks like making calls, sending text messages, or using social media, this would be sufficient. For security, we get fingerprint and face unlock. The fingerprint scanner at the back works fine, it's reliable. Face unlock though is a bit slow, it takes a bit of time to read your face. For battery, we get a 5000 mAh battery which will definitely last you over a day. For charging though, that's at 10 watts, so you're looking at over 3 hours to go from 0 to 100%. So that's our review of the ITEL A60, it's a very affordable 4G smartphone from ITEL that offers you quite a lot for the price. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Yudi, this is Yudi Shoes, thank you so much for watching and you'd see me in my next video.